Mike's footage is really impressive simply because of the size of Lake Erie and the fact that it's a no-fly zone. There's nothing around for something like 60 miles. It really makes these lights that Michael Lee Hill is videotaping very remarkable. But are these objects new, or have they been seen before? March 4th, 1988. According to the Cleveland Plain dealer, Sheila Baker sees several small triangular objects shooting out of a huge metallic gray football-shaped object descending over Lake Erie. The U.S. Coast Guard even witnesses this event and makes a written report. Quote, the smaller objects began hovering in the area where the large object landed. They appeared to be scouting the area. They were never able to fully resolve this event. The description of these objects approaching the lake is eerily similar to Michael's footage from August 18, 2006. But Michael's encounters go further back than the team realizes. What the hell? There's a smaller one flying into it or something. Dude, it's angel circling the earth, man. <laughs> What's this coming up to it, man? No way. I got this on tape, man. Oh, this is a trip. Dude, there's one stopping right into it. It's hovering. God, I know. I see Dude, it. this ain't even right. Holy oh my God. Oh my God, this is amazing. Dude, I got it on tape. What the hell? <laughs> That's the craziest thing ever. I'm telling you, it's the mothership being guided in this way. <laughs> Whoa! It's so bright, it's reflecting on the lake. Dude, it's beautiful. You see that? It's reflecting oh, I got it. I'm filming it, dude. I'm just saying it for documentation. Man. Yeah, it's it's dude. It's so bright, it's causing like the sunset with the sun. Yeah. That's important. It was like a like a refueling or something. Yeah, I don't know what just happened. Dude, we just saw something amazing. This one's coming closer over here, man. Yeah, yeah, here comes another one. You see that other one coming out from further west? Yeah, man. I got it. Look at dude, dude, dude. Oh, wow. What's going on? Oh. Those like afterburners or some experimental jet? I don't know, man. There is NASA out in the area as well. I don't know what it is, really. Trust me, I've seen the Nassau Lewis research there out there. But look how fast it's going. You see that? Yeah, it took off in a jiffy. Dude, oh my god. Yesterday in this hour, we told you about the mysterious lights that keep appearing over Lake Erie near Cleveland. Here is some home video of the lights that neighbors in the area say are unlike aircraft or helicopters that fly there. And last night, for the eighth night in a row, they said these lights were back, appearing around 7.30 p.m. and lasting about two hours. NASA has a lab in Cleveland called the Glenn Research Center. They test rockets and various aircraft, but say they haven't done any testing this week. A Pentagon official told me the U.S. military has not been testing anything recently in that area. And the FAA acknowledges the light pattern seems different from commercial flight paths in the area. So what on earth is going on? Joining us is UFO expert Nick Pope from our London Bureau. Nick ran the British government's UFO project at the Ministry of Defense. Nick, first of all, what do you make of uh, what we're all hearing from Cleveland? Eight days, the lights seem to be similar, but they look unlike anything that people have ever seen. 
Yes, it certainly seems to be an interesting wave of sightings, and it's always fascinating when you get um, activity like this over a period of different nights. I think my key question would be, and it's really a question for the, uh, the Air Force and the FAA, has anyone checked the radar tapes to see if anything unusual was tracked? Well, as a matter of fact, I spoke to officials at the FAA today. They checked in with uh, Cleveland Air Traffic Control, and they don't have anything unusual, nothing unusual on the radar, no unusual reporting from any pilots. Um, is it possible that maybe this is some sort of a helicopter or rescue service from one of the Cleveland hospitals that people east of the city are, are looking at a little bit differently? I wouldn't have thought so, and I've seen some of this footage myself, and what uh, struck me about it was the way that it appeared to change color at some stage, uh, and that's quite interesting. I mean, I think as ever, one would need to get hold of the original camera, the original film footage, and do some proper uh, forensic analysis to get to the bottom of it, but it's, it's certainly interesting, and as I say, the fact that it's, it's come back over several nights and been seen by many different people um, is, is makes it quite a significant sighting. Well, and as far as the analysis of the film, well, we intend to do uh, just that, and it's now several people. We're being told that because this has been happening night after night, people are now gathered on the beaches along Lake Erie near Euclid, Ohio, where this the kid first saw it. And apparently, again, as you, uh, for eight nights in a row, it happens about each night between 7 and 7.30 in the evening. The lights stay up for about two hours. Sometimes they dim. Sometimes they get brighter. Sometimes they move up. They move to one side, and then they eventually disappear. What do you make of it all? Well, I, I, most UFO sightings do turn out to have conventional explanations. They can be uh, lasers, searchlights, uh, fireworks, the uh, Chinese lanterns, which are quite popular, and people let these off at parties and barbecues and things like that. But I think what is interesting is, is that these days, of course, almost everyone has a cell phone with the capability to take photos and videos. So out of the tens of thousands of people who see UFOs each year, we're getting more and more of this interesting footage. So we're more likely to get to the bottom of these sorts of mysteries. Well, we certainly hope to get to the bottom of this one. Nick Pope uh, from London, thank you so much, Nick. We will keep you posted on, uh, on how things go over here. We appreciate it. Um, all right, are there really UFOs? Better yet, are they flying over Lake Erie? An East Lake man claims there are, and he has the tapes to prove it. 19 Action News anchor Lena Lai, live in the Newsflex with the story. New at 11. <laughs> yes, Denise, you might remember the last time we tried to broadcast some of Michael Lee Hill's UFO video, our computer system crashed. Coincidence? Tonight, barring any alien interruptions, here's Hill's latest home video that may make a believer out of you. What in the world is this, or should we say out of this world, a pulsating orb of light hovering over Lake Erie near the East Lake Shore? <laughs> Michael Lee Hill behind the camera. The UFO researcher says without a doubt what you're seeing are... Extraterrestrials? No doubt about no it. No doubt about it. One showing up next to the video shot last fall just put on YouTube and already has gotten more than 660,000 hits. People want the, want the truth. I think we're ready and... Uh, it just doesn't really go along with our government's plans. There's something strange in the neighborhood. When 19 Action News tried to show you previous footage two years ago, Hill finds the technical snafus no coincidence. Something spooky going on with that tape. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Why don't these aliens just show up for everyone to see? Go ahead, park your spaceship right in front of our 19 Action News studios here, and I will personally hand any little green man this microphone. Seriously, enough with the appearances on home video shot by a select few. Hill has an answer for that. We couldn't have the outcome that I believe they intend, which is for us to become a galactic society and a peaceful society. The way he sees it, the alien appearances are as beautiful as they are peaceful. And a sudden visit would be as traumatic to us as 9-11, like a terrorist attack. But he says time will reveal all truth. They will. They will. Ooh, and no computer glitches. Hill says the same orbs have been spotted in London, Mexico, Canada, California, and Texas. His recent findings will be a part of a History Channel special on UFO hunters set to air next month. Live in the Newsplex, Lena Lai, 19 Action News. Beam me up, Lena. In the state of Ohio, in the Midwest of the United States, 
se encuentra el lago Eri, uno de los grandes lagos. Ahí, recientemente, en los últimos meses, se han venido grabando imágenes notables, extraordinarias, de lo que parecen ser objetos inteligentes. En el mes de mayo pasado, se grabó nuevamente un video extraordinario que le vamos a presentar aquí. Evidentemente que estos objetos no pueden ser aviones, y entonces, ¿qué son? La historia con Carlos Clemente. La oleada ovni que se ha estado generando en el lago Erie en los Estados Unidos desde el año 2001 ha llamado la atención. Ha recibido una amplia cobertura por parte de los medios de comunicación que después de cada avistamiento importante presentan las imágenes a la opinión pública. Have you seen the mysterious lights over Lake Erie? Many people suspect they could be signals from space. Jen Pichano explains those sightings and one theory about their origin. What do you see when you watch this home video? What's just coming up to it, man? No way. I got this on tape, man. It was taken on a Lake Erie spring night. I go outside and I look up in the sky and I see him up there. Every so often you see strange lights blinking on and off. It's not hard to find people who believe the lake shore is a hotbed for extraterrestrial activity. Last year, in fact, Fox 8 revealed these images of similar lights over the lake. Now, it goes without saying, but of course, we'll say it anyway. NASA, the military, no one will comment on any of this. But we do know planes are always landing and taking off at Hopkins and, of course, on the other side of the lake in Canada. Michael Lee Hill says none of that matters. We'll know more soon enough when they decide to reveal themselves. Mark Zinni. Foxy. Live in the News Flex with the story. New at 11. <laughs> yes, Denise, you might remember the last time we tried to broadcast some of Michael Lee Hill's UFO video, our computer system crashed. Coincidence? Tonight, barring any alien interruptions, here's Hill's latest home video that may make a believer out of you. What in the world is this, or should we say out of this world, a pulsating orb of light hovering over Lake Erie near the East Lake Shore? <laughs> Michael Lee Hill behind the camera. The UFO researcher says without a doubt what you're seeing are extraterrestrials. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. One shot on your... The video shot last fall just put on YouTube and already has gotten more than 660,000 hits. Debido a la extensa difusión de noticias acerca de las observaciones que son constantes en el área del lago, Grupos de personas están acampando a las orillas para poder ser testigos de la aparición de estos objetos misteriosos. Los expertos han analizado las evidencias y consultaron con personal de la torre de control del aeropuerto, pero hasta el momento no ha habido ninguna respuesta acerca de lo que ha estado ocurriendo. Incluso hay quienes piensan que existe una base extraterrestre en el lago. Y otros solo se limitan a decir que es un punto caliente para ver ovnis. La historia del lago tiene al menos 150 años de sucesos extraños. Su nombre es de una tribu norteamericana llamados los Erieloxnan, o personas con cola larga. Las anécdotas datan de la guerra civil entre los años 1861 y 1865, en donde la gente advertía a los forasteros acerca de las luces del lago. Desde el año 2004, un grupo de investigación de la ciudad de Cleveland ha documentado por lo menos 40 avistamientos de importancia desde el noroeste de Ohio y el área de playas del lago Erie. En el 2010, la cantidad de reportes se incrementa de manera notable. El reportero David Schuster de la NBC presentó un reporte donde la NASA y la milicia argumentaron no saber el origen de estas misteriosas luces. NASA has a lab in Cleveland called the Glenn Research Center. They test rockets and various aircraft, but say they haven't done any testing this week. A Pentagon official told me the U.S. military has not been testing anything recently in that area. And the FAA acknowledges the light pattern seems different from commercial flight paths in the area. Las evidencias son claras y al parecer algo está ocurriendo, ya que desde hace tiempo en este sitio de los Estados Unidos se han estado presentando estos misteriosos objetos. Le acabamos de mostrar las evidencias del lago Eri en los Estados Unidos, un lugar en donde los ovnis se han estado viendo desde el 2010 y ahora en el 2011 hay nuevas evidencias. Nosotros continuaremos a la expectativa y le mostraremos aquí más de estas evidencias. Of 
all the dead giveaways. The disappear and reappearing of stars it just don't go. happen. Yeah, well, oh, there's another one there's forming right lot. next to it. Wow. I think I got that one just showing up out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's freaking mind blowing. out of our atmosphere mm -hmm. that, uh, I believe it was the Coast Guard he came close by searching the area and stuff but it was too late it was gone already oh no shit. His lights and everything microphone all that I'm like you late <laughs> <laughs> <They go. laughs> me and my friend just sitting there laughing he was like you late dude he came by like 15 late minutes. to the party man <laughs> 15 minutes later he came by I was like you way late they could have like scanned the whole lake by the time you got here and left. I got both of those in frame right now. They just sitting there too. Yeah, they are. They're not in here. I got them to the very edges of the frame and they're not even moving. You should leave the frame just like that and watch them start moving. Yep. The left one is moving a little bit now to the right and back. Mm -hmm. Is this over there that close? Oh yeah. yeah. Wow. That's gotta look crazy in there. Yeah. I mean there's color and stuff when you see it in you what know, you just play in the view. Yeah, it'll be really nice color. Oh. Wow. There's another one. The There's a third one. one. It's a red one too. Yeah, man. Holy, Holy shit! <laughs> wow. Too bad my camera don't zoom that far. Wow, <laughs> man. That. Holy nice. shit. Wait, wait. Oh, do we have three? Yeah. There's three. Yeah. Oh, triangle formation. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Wow, man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Unbelievable. That's... Thank you. That is mind blowing, man. What's your name? Sean. Sean. Sean's here to witness this with us. <laughs> What's you guys doing? My name is Michael, and I'm this is Justin. Justin. There's one down at the bottom of the lake now. Yeah. Holy shit! Check this oh, out. That is a lot. I've never caught four of them. Oh my god. But Did I gotta get back to this. Where is he going? The one that was at the bottom, he left. It just Did he? Yeah. Good, because yeah. I left uh, that screen anyhow. I wanna get these guys. It does make you wonder, Paul. They really do, particularly if you're on the fence about this kind of thing. Uh, these are not typical lights you see in the sky. They're not shooting stars, they're not from any type of aircraft that we know of. Listen to what this area's top UFO guy thinks about it. You can see the houses down here, which is fascinating. UFO enthusiast Michael Lee Hill says video recently posted on YouTube that shows strange lights over Lake Erie is some of the best UFO video he's ever seen. Look at there's another one. The video was shot September 18th. In it, a number of bright lights are seen on the horizon, and they don't appear to be typical wow. aircraft lights. One of the things that I like about this video is you can see the houses, and you can see exactly how high these things are above the houses, which also gives you a little bit of idea of how big these objects are. It's not a little light up there. These are huge balls of light. Yeah, and their commentary. Oh, There's multiple oh, witnesses. Oh, There's at least four or five people talking there. They're all freaking out going, I've never seen anything like this. We're being invaded. Bill says the recent Lake Erie lights are very similar to mysterious lights that appeared over Phoenix in March of 1997. This sighting became one of the most talked about UFO events in decades. It's the exact same. They're showing up over uh, Phoenix, over Texas recently, um, China, um, at the UK. Hill claims he's personally witnessed hundreds of UFOs. But before you write him off as a crackpot, listen to his take on the mystery plume in the sky over the Pacific this week. That looked like something military from our end. Um, it, it just, I didn't get the feel of uh, something higher, 
But Hill believes the latest mystery lights over Lake Erie are from a higher power, a benevolent entity that for some reason is making more frequent visits to our area. Michael Lee has uh, appeared on the History Channel and done tons of research on UFO sightings. Could these lights have been flares dropped from planes, which some say explains the Phoenix phenomenon? Well, flares fall from the sky, and these did not, as you saw. So the mystery continues. Live in the Newsplex, Paul Johnson, 19 Action News. It's not the first time someone has recorded something mysterious over Lake Erie, but it could be the first time it's this clear. It was just probably one of the craziest nights of activity I've ever experienced. Michael Lee Hill is the self-described UFO enthusiast who's releasing this never-before-seen video. According to Hill, the video was shot in November on the east side near his home in Eastlake. It obviously shows something, but what is what's up for debate? I've been filming these for a long time, and it's just grown to the point where they've let me know they know I'm sitting there filming them. You know, they'll come in, every year they've come in closer and closer. I go outside and I look up in the sky and I see them up there every so often. You see strange lights blinking on and off. It's not hard to find people who believe the lakeshore is a hotbed for extraterrestrial activity. Last year, in fact, Fox 8 revealed these images of similar lights over the lake. And after our stories aired, a team from the Cleveland Ufology Project tracked the lights. The organization was founded back in 1952, and its members consider themselves experts who determined these were airplanes. But now, Michael says you can't debate it anymore. The fact that this remains in the screen and is not moving, I believe, negates the any notion that it's an aircraft. Now it goes without saying, but of course we'll say it anyway. NASA, the military, no one will comment on any of this. But we do know planes are always landing and taking off at Hopkins and of course on the other side of the lake in Canada. Michael Lee Hill says none of that matters. We'll know more soon enough when they decide to reveal themselves. Mark Zinni, Fox 8 News. Have you seen the mysterious lights over Lake Erie? Many people suspect they could be signals from space. Jen Pichano explains those sightings and one theory about their origin. What do you see when you watch this home video? What's this coming up to it, man? No way. I got this on tape, man. It was taken on a Lake Erie spring night, and Michael E. Hill says it's a UFO. These things are so beautiful when you see them. It's like this luminous, pulsating orb of light. When these sightings were first reported, NASA says, wasn't us. Reps from Burke and Hopkins airports said it wasn't anything they were tracking. Local radio stations flooded with freaked out listeners, seeing exactly what Hill saw. South of Cleveland, there's the same markings in the sky, and there's that light again. The Cleveland Ufology Project investigates sightings like one in 2004 near Hopkins. There's a, there's a whole bunch of pictures that the police took, and we don't know what it was. Still don't know. If these orbs are from another planet, why did they choose Cleveland, of all places, to make an appearance? It might not have been random. Some believe that it may be because of our giant shrine to musicians right here on the lakefront. And you know, kind of looks like a spaceship, doesn't it? Many musicians who are immortalized inside the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame are believers. So maybe these outer space visitors were just here to visit their followers. You know, you have an analytical side of your brain and a creative side of your brain. And really, the only two things that I know of that makes both hemispheres fire simultaneously is music and meditation. Michael Luckman found so many connections between legendary musicians and Martians that he published a book about it, Alien Rock. After about three years of deep research, I've discovered all kinds of amazing links between such rock icons as Elvis, uh, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Jerry Garcia, Jimi Hendrix, and David Bowie. Luckman says Elvis's link was the most unusual. He claimed to have been visited several times by aliens. Maybe they're just more open, because if you're not looking, you're not going to see it. You know, I tell people, just look up. The Ufology Project says most reports around here can be traced back to birds, planes, or Venus. 
but you know there are things that we find that we can't really cannot explain and and those are the things we really want to look at the most there's no doubt the rock hall and its inductees draw lots of visitors to cleveland the question is has it attracted some from out of this world jen pachano 19 action news well there's certainly a lot of star power in the hall Absolutely. that's for sure we know that yeah well, it's not just Toyota now. 